And now here's CTV News executive producer Barry Wilson with some of his thoughts on the news this week. After all these years of reporting on and observing Quebec politics, I never knew this. Pauline Marois has a sense of humor, and a wicked one it is. Just listen to what she said this week. If they want to choose a party which has been very open to the English community, which have respect the English community, I think that is the Parti Québécois. If you think you heard that wrong, let's listen one more time. If they want to choose a party which has been very open to the English community, which have respect the English community, I think that is the Parti Québécois. Well, pretty hard to keep a straight face on this one. This is the party that has closed English hospitals and decimated our education system. This is the leader who is promising limiting access to English CGEPs. She is promising more restrictive language legislation and vowing to force small businesses like Depaneurs to operate in French only. You call that respect? On another planet, the PQ would take this none-of-the-above election in a cakewalk. The Liberals are worn and they are tired, but Quebecers have not bought into Pauline Marois and her leadership. She is a lightweight compared to her predecessors in the PQ. The Parti Québécois is first and foremost a party dedicated to Quebec independence, and the PQ's Bernard Drainville laid it all out this week. The strategy of a PQ government would be to constantly demand more powers from Ottawa to pick fights in order to create winning conditions for a referendum. It's such an old and stale strategy like the knife at the throat of the rest of Canada. We've heard it all before. I'm not sure it's a game Ottawa or the other provinces want to play anymore. But speaking of referendums, the irony here is that Jean Charest is clearly setting this up as his own referendum campaign. Either Quebecers are for the students or are for responsible government, for the laws of the street or the rule of law. It's an election that will no doubt be nasty and negative. Is there still enough magic in Charest to pull another rabbit out of his hat? Will Pauline Marois finally get the prize she has lusted after for all these years? Or will Quebec opt for a third party wave like the NDP in the last federal vote? Let's hope that we can have a real debate about the things that really should matter, like health care and Quebec soaring debt. It's anyone's guess what will happen, but what seems obvious is that Quebecers will cast their ballots for the candidates and the party they dislike the least. I'm Barry Wilson, and that is CTV Postscript for this week. I'll see you in two weeks. And CTV Postscript can also be heard every Saturday morning on CJAD 800, right after the 7.30 news.